write a C++ program to store the elements in one dimensional array and perform the operations like searching, sorting, and reversing the elements of the array. In order to do this C++ program, we are writing different functions for performing the three operations, searching, sorting, and reversing the element of a one dimensional array. For the first, we are writing a search method. The search method totally takes three parameters. The first one is an array, one dimensional array, which is named as A. The second parameter N indicates the total number of elements present in the array and val indicates the element that need to be searched in the array. In order to find whether val is present in any of the location of the array, we are first using a flag variable which is initialized as zero. And by using a for loop which ranges from zero to n minus one, we check each element of the array which is a of i is equal to val. If it is the same, then we display that the val is present at a particular location i. Once the value has been present at a particular location, we make the flag variable as one. So the loop will keep on repeating for each element a of i, it compares whether it is equal to val. If it is the same, we display that val is present at the location i. After the completion of the for loop, we check whether the value of flag is still remaining as zero. If it is still remaining as zero, that means the val was not present at any of the location of the array A. So we display that val is not present in the array by checking the condition if flag equals zero. So we have written one function which is named as search. Next, we are writing a function which is named as sort, which is used to sort elements of an array. Now the sort function takes two parameter. First one is a one dimensional array, which is named as A. Second parameter N indicates the total number of elements present in the array. The return data type of sort method is an integer array. That's why we have written in star. That means after sorting the elements of the array A, a new array will be returned, which is in the sorted form by using the sort method. First, we are declaring an array variable by using the concept of pointers. An array has been created. The name of the array is B, an integer array, which is capable of storing total n number of integers. By using a for loop, we copy all the element of the array A into the array B. So for loop is used where the index i ranges from zero to n minus one. Each element AI will get copied into BI. So B will become a new created array, which will be a copy of the array A. Now we are writing the logic to sort the element of the array B newly created array B, wherein which each element will be successively compared with the rest of the elements present in the array. For example, first it takes the first element which is at the place zero and it compares with the rest of the element. That means one, two, three, up to the last number, which is n minus one. In the second time, when it takes the second element, that is a first place element, it will start comparing with the remaining elements that is second position, second index, third index till the last index. Similarly, we keep on comparing till the second last element. That means n minus two element will be compared with n minus one element. During the comparisons, we will see that the first element, the element which is present at the prior position is greater than the number which will get compared in the successor place. If it is greater, we exchange the value. So in order to take each element, the outer loop is used. So the value of outer loop index variable i ranges from 0 to n minus 2, starting from the first number onwards, the second last number. Each time we take a number, we have to take the rest of the elements present in the array 
So for that we are using a j variable, second for loop with j as an index variable whose value will depend upon the value of i, i plus 1. And by using an if conditions we check and swap the content of b of i and b of j. And finally we return the newly created sorted array which is b. Next we are writing a function which is named as reverse for reversing the element present in the array A. To reverse the element which is present in the array A. Reverse method takes two parameters. The first one is an array and the second one n indicates the total number of elements present in the array. Reverse method returns an integer array which is the reverse of A. First, we write the logic for copying all the element of the array A into B. After that, we are writing the logic for exchanging the element between the first place with the last place and the second place with the second last place. So for example, if we have an array A of 5, so 0th place will be replaced by the index place 4. First place will be replaced by the index place 3. Similarly, it goes on till the half of the number. So in order to do, we are using a for loop where we have initialized two variables starting with the index i as 0 and j as the last index of the array, which is n minus 1. And this conditions the loop should repeat till the half. That's why we have written i equals to i is less than n by 2 and is the total number of elements present. Each time after the repetition of the for loop, we increase the value of i and decrease the value of j. So we have totally two index variables i and j. i is for indexing the array starting from the first location 0, 1, 2 similarly. And j is in the reverse order. It will point to n minus 1 which is the last element and keep on decreasing towards the center of the array. And each element will be exchanged. That means if you take five elements of an array, A of 0 will be exchanged with A of 4. Here we are using the array which is named as B. So we are exchanging between B of I and B of J, which is newly created array. So we are not modifying the original array, which is A. So the for loop will get repeated till the half of that particular size of the array. Each element will get exchanged and the newly created array, which is B, will be returned back. Next, we are writing a display method for displaying all the elements present in the array. It takes two parameters. First one is an integer array. Second one, the total number of elements present in the array, which is N. By using a for loop, we display all the elements present in the array. The for loop with index variable i starting from 0 to n minus 1. By using a C out statement, we display a of i. So in total, we have written four methods. The first one is search, next is sort, another one is reverse, and a display method for displaying the elements present in the array. We are declaring an integer variable n in the main method that indicates the size of an array. Depending on the value of the size of an array n, we are taking the value of n from the user by using c in n. An array variable has been created by using the pointer concept. So we have written in star a equals new int of n. So a will be a pointer variable capable of storing integers and total n number of integers. By using a for loop, we accept a set of n numbers from the user and store into the array A.
another pointer variable has been declared an array pointer variable which is named as x for displaying the original array we are calling the display method display method takes two parameters the first one is the array which we have to display so we are displaying the original array which is named as a and the size of the array a is n after that by using a cout statement we, we are displaying the possible operations as a menu that is one for search two for sort and three for reverse and four for exit of the program we are repeating this logic of the program by using a do while loop. We accept the value of the choice from the user and store into the variable ch. Now depending on the value of the ch, we have to perform different operations. When the value of ch is 1, we have to perform the search operations. So in order to perform the search operation, we take a value from the user, which value we need to search in the variable val. Well. After that, we call the function. The name of the function for search operation is search. It takes three parameters. First one is an array. A is the array. And n is the total number of elements present in the array. And val, the value what we are searching in the array A. Second case, two. Two is for sort operation. So we directly call sort method. It takes two parameters. First one is an array A and n is the total number of elements present in the array. Sort method will perform the sorting of the elements present in the array and it will return the result and the return result will be an array of numbers will get stored in the variable x. Now the value of x, all elements present in the array x can be displayed by using display method. Display x comma n. After display, we delete the pointer variable x. Case 3 is for reverse operation. Reverse method has been called with two parameters, the array A and N is the size of an array. And return result of result, return result of reverse method is stored in the variable X, where X is the reverse of the array A. By using display method, we display the values present in the array X. And after display, we delete the pointer variable X.
the loop will do while loop will keep on repeating as long as the value of user entered ch variable is not equals to 4 outside the while loop we delete the array variable the pointer variable a Execute and see the program output. 